Hello there. Uh, welcome back to financial accounting and six. Uh, in this video, we want to look at the calculation of dividends paid. So we are going to look uh, at uh, calculation of dividends paid. Remember, uh, we, when we are we are calculating dividends paid, we are calculating the actual amount of dividends that uh, uh that was paid for the for, for the financial period. Remember, we've got two different amounts that will be there for dividends. We have got dividends for the year. That is, are the dividends that is charged for the year. Uh, that is uh within the context of that uh of the current financial year that is uh uh charged in the appropriation account, and we have got dividends paid that must be uh adjusted uh, in the statement of cash flow. Uh, remember, so um those are two different amounts of, uh, of of dividends. So the one that is for the financial year that is in the appropriation is not the one that is supposed to go to the uh, statement of cash flow. So we to calculate the amount that is used to go to uh, uh the statement of cash flow is uh the calculation of dividends paid that we want to uh, do so uh the formula that we have yeah it says opening balance uh, plus dividends for the year dividends for the year now these are the dividends uh, that uh, belong to that uh, financial period that has to be charged to the appropriation account and then we subtract the closing balance remember the opening balance of uh of of, of, of dividends will be uh, under shareholders uh, section and then the closing balance also will be under the current liability section and uh, we are going to have two uh, financial periods, that's the previous period and the, and the um and the recent financial period, uh, which is the current financial period. So the opening balance will take it from the previous year and then the closing from the current year. So uh, going to our question, uh, you see that uh, we have uh, those uh, typical uh, uh, balances. So you see that if you come in, we are given trade and other payables, and we are given a shareholders for dividends, uh, which means a year we have got shareholders for dividends and we have got a balance that we have for 2021, which is the previous period, and then we've got 2022, which represents the current period. So our open balance uh, is here, 2021, and then our closing balance, which is the current period, uh, becomes, um, I think, our closing balance in terms of uh, 2022. So we are saying that the formula that we have is there is saying open balance plus dividends for the end. So open balance, uh, we come there and uh, put our 385,000. So we are saying here, uh, on the calculation part, we are now saying 300, 385,000. Then we add our dividends for the year. So dividends for the year, now we check there the question, what are the dividends for the year? So you have to go down to our setting weight. But if you go to F, you can see that we've got an explanation that is there that is saying the dividends, uh, uh, that is the interim and final. Remember, to get the total dividends for the year, we have to add the interim plus the final dividends, and then we get the, uh, the total dividends for the year. And, uh, for the financial year ended 31 October 2022, amount is 825,000. So this is the figure for total dividends that we have to add to our open balance. So we come in, uh, we add uh, 825,000. Uh, we add our 825,000. So it means here we are saying plus 825,000. And then we have to list our closing balance. Closing balance again, we get uh, there uh, in the list of balances uh, under the uh, trade and other payables. We have got our shareholders for dividends for the uh, current deal, which is the, uh, the closing balance for 150,000. So we have to subtract it here. So we are saying uh, minus 150,000. So we have to calculate it as such. And then we see that the answer that we are supposed to get there uh, becomes. 760,000. So this is the calculation that we, so this is the figure that's now supposed to go to the statement of cash flow. And remember, it will be under operating activities. Remember, we've got taxation also being adjusted under operating activities, and also we have got dividend paid also. So this is what we have guys uh, put in the calculation of dividend paid as a, as a figure that is to be uh, adjusted in the statement of cash flow under operating activities. Let's take it for more. Uh, uh, typical uh, examination situations that we are like what we are having uh, in this video. Let's subscribe and share. Let's share the link to our colleagues who are doing financial accounting and six. As for this video, I'm signing out. Let's meet again in the next video.